What is it exactly that China has discovered on the far side of the moon? You may recall that they had landed their one rover on the front side at one point, but now they have taken on this first ever mission to land on the far side of the moon. And in doing so, they targeted landing in one of the oldest, largest, and deepest craters on the moon. And they showed just a little bit of footage, of raw footage of this thing coming down throughout the process. Now, the last time they did this, they aired live where they were going, and they basically fooled the whole world. They told everyone they were landing in a certain position, they blew past it, and they ended up landing at 19.5 degrees, which is a key spot that we've talked about over and over again. 19.5 is where the spot on Neptune is. It's where the great red spot on Jupiter is. It's where Olympus Mons is on Mars and goes on and on with every planet having a key factor at that 19.5 degree spot. And when it comes to the moon, almost every single Apollo mission, whether they did them or not, whether they're faked or they were real, they targeted landing at 19.5 degrees. Now, this mission, they did not land at 19.5. This was a different spot, like I said, and this is on the far side. But when they did this, they showed a little bit of raw footage as they were bringing this thing down. And then they, they cut off over to something like this, an animated thing that shows it coming down and hitting the ground. They did the same thing last time. But in this small clip that they show us, there are a few things that I think stand out. Now, in this, you can see that they're targeting landing right here, and they say that they basically landed it on the bullseye. But there are, there are a couple features in this crater that stand out when you look very closely. Now, one is this crater right here. In the middle of this crater, we have a very unique looking structure. So much so that when you zoom in on it, it's pyramidal in shape and it is stepped. And it is right there center inside and i mean this whole thing looks very suspect look at the design of this and this one could argue are we looking at a structure inside right here that they basically flashed us within a couple seconds of this landing and then that was it and what was different here is when you look back at all of nasa's and other people's stuff where they're landing other agencies where they're landing stuff and you don't see any stars in the background and you're, you're immediately calling BS. Well, you can see the stars going in and out off the ridge of the moon here in this. You know, still, I know there's levels of fakery and deception that can go on. But what I'm wanting to point out here is this. They showed us a couple handful of seconds of raw footage of this thing coming down and lo and behold... Right here in this crater next to it, there is a pyramidal structure, stepped in awe with a lot of unique, very interesting design. So, what else is there? Is this why they went there, among other things? Well, the mysteries continue, and they will from here, because China's not going to tell the world if they find something huge, I tell you that. They will sit on it until... The time is chosen to release the information, as all governments do with all info, as they do it to control the masses. And at this point, them being the first ones to get back there and land, it has the U.S. administration wanting to speed things up and get up there rather quickly and to have a manned base on the moon, so much so that they're talking about, by 2024, having our own orbital lunar orbital space station so to speak it's going to replace the iss that goes around the planet they're going to focus on having one that goes around the moon and i covered that in a separate video so a lot of attention now being put on this massive moon that we never get to see the backside of and i wanted to point out some of the features here that we caught just in these small clips and here is a bit of a zoom in on this area 
and that's what we've got. But regardless of this structure, until we get some you know, clearer images and more to go off of, which we may never, who knows when the next time we're going to see any images or footage of the backside of the moon. This is really the first that we've seen. So, in terms of video and everything else, and then landing something on, on the backside. But very interesting. I'm going to talk about this in more detail. Underground World News Live, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77, every Friday night. I'll leave a link below. I hope to see you guys there. Eyes to the skies.